what lurks below. Mystery. There's a lot to be discovered about these rare sea creatures, and since they live deep under the sea, it's hard to even study them. Colorful, weird, scary, and exclusive. In this episode, we bring you 20 of the rarest creatures from the sea. We start off our list with the Promatocathus sulcus. Known only by its scientific name, this species of squid is the rarest on Earth and does not even have a common name. Its only known specimen was caught by the German research vessel Weather Herwig in an open net off the Tristan du Cunha, the southern Atlantic Ocean, at a depth of 1,750 to 2,000 meters. Its physical characteristics are determined by the one specimen found so far. This tiny creature is a mere inch in size, with each tentacle wider at the base than at the tip, and there are three rows of suckers present on each tentacle. This little squid gives a unique appearance of having human-like teeth, but they are actually lips that are folded around a beak, of which only the upper and lower portions can be seen. Second on our list is the pocket shark, which is an extremely rare species of the shark family. First seen years ago off the coast of Peru, the second ever known specimen was collected in 2010 in offshore Louisiana near the Gulf of Mexico by the NOAA ship. The first known specimen was an adolescent female which was 40 centimeters long, and the second specimen is a 14 centimeter long recently born male. Well, this little shark does not only fit in your pocket, it has pockets too. Pocket shark has this remarkable pocket gland found just above the pectoral fin, which scientists guess secrete some kind of glowing fluid or pheromones. Next is the Australian ghost shark, which is found in southern Australia, including Tasmania, south of East Cape, and Kaipara Harbor in New Zealand, at depths of up to 500 meters. It is also known as plow-nosed chimera or elephant fish, and is recognized by the club-shaped projection on the end of its snout, which helps in searching for prey. Their color is silvery white, with random dark spots found on its body, and may grow to a maximum size of of approximately 125 centimeters in length. These sharks feed on a variety of small mollusks and shellfish and, in turn, are prey for larger sharks and fish. At number four, meet Krusty Nautilus, also known as the Fuzzy Nautilus, one of the rarest marine animals in the world. This is a really rare species that was thought to have gone extinct after 1986, but was rediscovered in 2015 by a U.S. biologist off the coast of Papua New Guinea. This elusive sea creature has a vibrant golden shell of around 18 centimeters in diameter covered in thick, slimy hair. Although the largest specimen ever recorded measures 21.5 centimeters, spotted for only the third time ever and only being seen by two people in the world, makes it one of the planet's most elusive and unknown inhabitants. On the number five spot, we have this new species of worm, discovered by scientists at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, also known as flying buttocks. It is found 3,000 to 4,000 feet below sea level and is approximately the size of a hazelnut. Theories suggest they remain stationary, floating on the ocean floor, and feed on bodies or fragments of dead organisms or waste, as unique as its name, the pig butt worm makes us wonder of the many mysterious and cool sea creatures that are yet to be discovered. Dumbo octopus that belongs to the umbrella group of octopuses comes sixth on our list and is the deepest living of all known octopuses. They come in different colors and live anywhere from 9,000 to as deep as 23,000 feet below the surface. The first thing that you notice about Dumbo octopus is their prominent ear-like fins that resemble the famous Disney character Dumbo the elephant. They use these fins to float and move about in the water and their webbed tentacles to steer. Most Dumbo octopuses are small, measuring less than a foot, and the largest ever caught was 6 feet in length and weighed 13 pounds. They are foraging predators and swallow their prey whole. The Dumbo octopus is one of the cutest sea creatures, but also one of the rarest, which is why not much is known about them. They remain one of the mysteries of what lurks below in the deep. 
At number seven, we have the Halotrephes Massee jellyfish, which is a deep sea jellyfish. And not much is known about this species. It is extremely rare to have ever been seen, as it is found at a depth of 4,000 to 5,000 feet below the water. However, during a recent exploration of the Ria Via Gigado Archipelago off the coast of Baja, California, Mexico, it was spotted at a depth of almost a mile and looked like an underwater fireworks explosion on display. Eighth on our list, we have the pink see-through Fantasia, an amazing creature that was unknown till 2007 when it was discovered by a team of marine biologists about 2,500 meters deep in the Salib Sea in the western Pacific Ocean. This pink animal is aptly named for its transparent skin that leaves nothing to the imagination. At number nine, we have Dana octopus squid, named after Danish fisheries biologist Age Videl Tonning, who often traveled on the research vessel Dana. It is one of the largest known squid species, reaching a mantle length of 5.6 feet and a total length of 7.5 feet. The Dana octopus squid was filmed for the first time in its natural habitat in 2005 by a Japanese research team headed by Tsunemi Kubodera and is just one of many incredible rare creatures photographed during the 2015 Hohuno Moana expedition. We arrive at number 10 with the vampire squid that has similar characteristics of both octopuses and squid. The scientific name of vampire squid translates to vampire squid from hell and seems an apt name as its eight arms are connected by a cloak-like web which flows like a black cape worn by a vampire. Also, if you look closely, you will find that the distal portions of the arms have suckers, though there is no real evidence that it sucks blood. The color of its gelatinous body can be jet black to pale reddish with large red or blue eyes depending on location and light conditions. They seem to feed on waste and animal debris that they coat with mucus secreted from their suckers before eating. Not much is known about them as they live more than 3,000 feet below the surface with minimum light and oxygen in the water. Coming next on our list is an astonishingly strange creature that can only come from a mad scientist, or in this case from the deep sea. Barreli, also known as a spookfish, get their name because of their barrel-shaped tubular eyes within its transparent head, yet you can actually see its brain. Mostly dark brown in color, it is covered with small, silvery scales and and mostly under 20 centimeters in length. First discovered in 1939, Barrel Eye was only seen alive in 2004 when the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute used remotely operated vehicles to record this fish in its natural habitat, 2,000 feet deep in the Pacific Ocean off the California coast. Number 12 is the oar fish, which is the longest species of bony fish with lengths reported up to 17 meters and can weigh as much as 600 pounds. Just last year, several beachgoers pulled a deceased oar fish from the sea in the Philippines. The scaleless body of an oar fish is ribbon-like, tapering towards the tail with silvery to silvery blue skin and topped with an ornate red dorsal fin that resembles a decorative headdress mysterious as it is remarkable. It remains one of the most rarely seen of all fishes, and the little that we know about the oarfish has been learned from specimens that have washed ashore on beaches or have been accidentally caught by fishermen. 13th on the list, the goblin shark is a very rare species of deep sea shark. It is a medium-sized shark and the length of an adult ranges from 3 to 4 meters. A goblin shark looks unusual and different from other shark species, though not for the better. First of all, the goblin shark is the only shark to look pink. This is due to the blood vessels being very close to their skin, which is actually partially transparent, giving it a pinkish tint. Secondly, it has a flattened snout that protrudes from the top of its unique head and looks similar to the blade of a sword. On its mouth, 
you can see several nail-like uneven teeth. And since they inhabit at depths greater than 200 meters, hopefully you won't have any experience with those teeth at all. They are believed to have a wide global distribution, having been spotted everywhere from the Gulf of Mexico to Japan, yet little is known about the elusive creature. This tiny lobster is number 14 on our list and is apparently a very rare deep sea lobster. The terrible claw lobster gets its name because of its bizarre claws, one bigger than the other and the most divergent ones that scientists have ever seen. This creature was first discovered in 2007 in the Philippines at a depth of 820 feet during the census of marine life and was one of the most peculiar ones among the new species discovered, approximately 1 to 2 inches in size. Their coloring is translucent white to reddish pink near the middle, tail area, and claws. One can guess the reason for the uncommon claws could be a part of a defense mechanism, or, as in the case of other lobsters, could be something to do with regulating its inner body temperature. Anyway, the evolutionary reason for the elongated claw so far remains a mystery. The Pacific Black Dragon that ranks at number 15 on our list is a deep sea predator that belongs to the Pacific Ocean and hence the name. They are relatively small, dark black to brownish in color with females having fang-like teeth and chin barbell. These features are not present in males who are known to be smaller in size and live only long enough for mating. Since they dwell at depths of up to 3,000 feet, they appear to be naturally rare and very little information is available on them. Known as the Unicorn of the Ocean, the narwhal is a rarely seen whale that inhabits mostly the Atlantic and Russian waters of the Arctic. A long, straight tusk, which is an elongated upper left canine, is a distinct feature of the narwhal males. It is a medium-sized whale that can grow to be as long as 18 feet and is distinguished by its grayish-white color with blackish-brown markings all over. Though these lovely red lips are are eye-catching, it still looks like it should have a good shave before it tries makeup again. On number 17, the Roughback Batfish is a species of batfish found along the coast of the western Atlantic Ocean from North Carolina in the USA to Brazil and grows to a length of 10 centimeters. This creature does not swim because it is really bad at it. Instead, it walks around using its fins as legs and feeds on snails, shrimp, and and small fishes. At the 18th position is the pelican eel, one of the most bizarre looking creatures in the deep sea with its notable attribute being its large mouth. In spite of a big mouth, this fish feeds on small fish, shrimp, and squid. Maybe because of its stomach, though stretchable, looks small compared to the amount of food it can gulp in its jaws. The saying, don't bite off more than you can chew, doesn't simply apply to them because they don't bite or chew chew, they just swallow. Also called the gulper eel or umbrella mouth gulper, this fish is rare to be seen because of the extreme depths at which it is found unless accidentally captured in fishing nets. Have you ever seen a fish that prefers walking instead of swimming? If not, then let's introduce you to the second to last on our list, the rare Australian spotted handfish, which not only prefers to walk, but that too on its hands. It gets its name due to its highly adapted pectoral fins, which appear like hands and help it move around the seafloor. They are up to 4.7 inches in length with numerous spots on their body and mostly inhabit shallow waters that are 5 to 10 meters deep. It is only found in the estuary of the Derwent River, Tasmania, and is one of the most endangered marine fish. Voted the world's ugliest animal in an online poll conducted by the British-based Ugly Animal Preservation Society, last on our list is the blobfish, which lives off the coast of Australia and Tasmania. Since it lives about 2,000 to 3,900 feet deep in the water, it is fairly rarely seen by humans. Even without a gas bladder that is found in most fish to maintain buoyancy in the water, what helps the blobfish survive at such a depth? 
depth and also gives it that unique ugly look is its gelatinous flesh. This gelatinous substance is slightly less dense than water and helps it float just above the seafloor. You could call this fish lazy as due to the absence of muscles. It just floats in one spot and sucks in the bits of food that drifts around it. Blobfish can grow up to 12 inches and is currently one of the rarest and most endangered sea creatures. Make sure you paid close attention because those sea creatures are really rare. Did you you happen to see one in real life? Subscribe to What Lurks Below for the best videos on marine life and let us know in the comments what you like most about our videos. See you on the next episode. This is Larry for What Lurks Below.